Nithinandam everyone, this is the Kundalini Yogini. My name is Prasidda and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe so that you can stay updated on my spiritual journey and practice of yoga as one of the lead acharyas for traditional rope yoga here in India. So today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite topics and something which I know so many people are searching for all over the world is a very powerful detoxification and cleansing technique. You know, this is such a hot topic in the West right now. De the ways you can detox your body, you know, going to the spa, doing all these funky treatments. You know, even people are experimenting in Chinese medicine, acupuncture, cupping, things like this. I want to share with you guys one of the most powerful yogic techniques which you can use, which is a very simple and affordable method to clear the sinuses. If you have any allergies or cold, or even interested in helping awaken your third eye or clairvoyance in you, I would highly recommend this technique, which is called the Jala Neti, or Neti Pot, as most people understand it to be now. I'll show you guys what one looks like. So this is a very traditional type of Neti Pot made of copper here in India, so it's a really nice one, actually. Um, so sometimes they look like this or they come in plastic. Quite often you'll see in the in the US at least as far as I know you see them mostly come in plastic. I would highly recommend if you can get one for in copper much much better. It ionizes your water and it makes the property very very holy versus getting lots of nasty chemicals in it. But anyway this practice has existed for thousands and thousands of years and it's one of the most well-known yogic techniques of cleansing the body what we call a shuddhi kriya or a cleansing ritual for the body and I've been practicing this for about three years actually um, when it was first introduced to me by my guru Paramahamsa Nityananda. Um, we ba basically do a routine of cleansing techniques every single morning so instantly when I wake up the first thing that I do is I cleanse my nose with the neti pot and a few other different kriyas which I'll share with you in further videos of cleansing the, the colon and of cleansing the eyes but this kriya is one of the most uh, user-friendly and so many so applicable to people today, especially with how high allergies, how common they are now. Almost everyone I know has some type of allergy, especially to dust, pollen, things like this. And a lot of that is coming from a lot of collected dirt and dust that gets inside of our nasal uh, cavity, our sinus passage. And so especially with even in times of the flu or having a cold or suffering with continuous allergies or mucus, Neti Pot is one of the most powerful ways to clean, clean your sinus system, to clean out that mucus and clear that passageway, that nasal cavity. What you do basically is you fill one pot with distilled water. You want to have fluoride free water. Do not use tap water if you live in the United States or a country that fluoridates. Please, for God's sake, please don't use that. Please buy like any type of nice bottled water, artisan water that is fluoride free. Okay? And what you want to do is you want to put a few pinches of salt inside. Do not get iodized salt. You want non-ionized salt and you want a salt that's like a very natural organic salt. Like Himalayan salt is the definitely the most ideal salt to use. Okay, so what you do is you put that salt inside the water, you kind of plug the holes and you cup it with your hand and you shake it up so that all the salt gets dissolved. From there, what you do is you actually use that just for one nostril. So I use a whole cup for one nostril and basically you all you have to do is put it up in your in one side of your nose and you tip your head down over the sink. So you want to have your head at kind of like a 45 degree angle and it's kind of horizontal almost so you're totally tipping over bending at the hips and you let that water pour out the other nostril. Okay? So you fill that you let that whole thing drain just on one nostril. And then you fill it up, do the same thing and you pour it out the other side. So you basically want to fill two of these and use two to cleanse your nose completely. This is what we call a neti pot or jala neti in the more traditional terms. And one of the most, uh, I guess, unknown but extremely beautiful benefits of this practice is not only does it cleanse your nasal passage, clear mucus, help dissolve allergies and dirt and dust, but one thing is it cools your brain immensely because that water passing through that cavity actually helps relieve heat from the brain which helps you think clear, clearer and it also cools the body of course and it passes through the pineal gland which if many of you guys are spiritual seekers out there might know that this is quite often the place where the third eye is mapped on the body. It's not exactly the third eye in itself but it holds many properties which tie to the third eye. 
And one of the most amazing things I actually found in my research of uh, the Jala Nati practice, this practice I'm introducing you guys to, is some scriptural references from some of the most ancient yogic scriptures, the, like the Vedas and the Agamas. Um, so I wanted to share them with you guys because it's super cool what they say. So this technique is extremely ancient, right? These, these verses are actually in Sanskrit, which I'm going to share with you guys. They're Sanskrit verses. From One is from the Garanda Samhita. So this is what we call a Shastra Pramana. It means nothing we practice in authentic yoga has some, is something which I just made up on my own, or something which, you know, Joe just made up, or something which Naveen just made up, right? It's not like this. It has to be time-tested and acid-washed, means all of these things are aligning. There's a scriptural reference involved. The original source states that this is an authentic practice. Two, enlightened masters throughout the, the ages, yogis, sages, things like this, also practice this technique and have shown that it's, it works, that they've proven it to work. Three, that your guru or master that you follow himself has also tried this technique and knows that it works. And four, you yourself try that technique and you know it works. So this is like the way you can completely authenticate your yogic practice. Really great way to, for any of you guys out there, a great utility value for any yoga that you're practicing. Definitely question your teachers, question where you're getting your information from and if it aligns to all of these things. Okay, so I'm going to share you guys the, the scriptural reference for this practice. So it's from the Granda Samhita, the original verse is actually in Sanskrit, but the transliteration is by practicing the Neti Kriya, one obtains Chachari Siddhi. It destroys the disorders of phlegm and produces clairvoyance or clear sight. So yes, surprise, the best effect of this is not the physical effect, but actually that it opens your third eye. It allows clairvoyance or clear sight to actually flourish in you as a spiritual being, as a yogi. Even another verse, from the Yoga Pradipika says, the neti is the cleaner of the brain and giver of divine sight. It destroys all diseases of the cervical and scapular regions. So it is the giver of divine sight. What a beautiful verse that this is. This shares that this technique not only is a physical uh, cleanser or kriya, but it is opening our divine sight, our clairvoyance. So. For all of you out there practicing any type of spirituality or yoga, I highly recommend you integrate this into your daily routine, your morning routine. You do this before uh, you do anything else. Really, as soon as you wake up, you do this You do this one kriya. And I'm going to share with you guys the other kriyas which I mentioned, which are a part of my day-to-day -day life, which are some of the most, uh, the, basically the, the whole package comes together when you do all of these kriyas, which I'm going to introduce in further videos. So um, definitely let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions about how to do this technique, uh, any thoughts or concerns, please definitely comment back and I'll be so excited to start a dialogue with you. Um, if, especially if you have any questions about how to do this or you know if you think you're doing something wrong, there should definitely be, there's definitely a little sensitivity when you first do it and it can kind of sting, but that usually means you're, you're not there with the salt balance. As if you put enough, if you put the right portion of salt to water, it stops burning, the water shouldn't burn you, shouldn't feel like a stinging sensation. If you forget salt, I'm warning you now, it is not a comfortable process. The salt water actually really helps it flow through without that burning sensation. So make sure to add your salt into your neti pot, okay? So definitely you can get these really anywhere in many little health uh, health stores uh, and even online, like Amazon usually sells things like this. So I um, highly recommend you guys start integrating this practice into your day-to-day -day life. And I hope this was an uh, informative and beneficial video for you all. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Kundalini Yogini. Again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely do so to keep more updated on all of the yogic practices which I'm discovering here in India and all my aspects of my life which I'm uh, discovering while I live here with my Guru Paramahamsa Nityananda. So thank you guys so much and be blissful. Let us see ya!